Hello and welcome to a video dedicated to a cornucopia of random blind boxes I bought recently. Um, yeah, in front of us today we've got, well technically okay, they're not all blind boxes, two of them, uh, those two there, you know what you're getting inside, and two of them are blind boxes, but I couldn't, I didn't want to make two different videos for two smaller things. So yeah, I kind of went ahead and treated myself on my birthday to buy a couple um, different kind of things. I saw around the local Forbidden Planet, which is a shop here in the UK. And I just kind of picked up things that um, took my fancy, really. So, I'm going to just open them up and stuff and we'll take a look. The blind boxes I'm really interested in, so I'm going to keep those till the end because they're the most exciting. So, first up, uh, we'll probably go with this one, which is the World Collection figure. A uh, version of Jaco from Dragon Ball Super. Jaco? I think it's Jaco actually. J A C O. He's kind of like an alien dude, basically. Those are the other ones from the series. As it happens, actually, I think Freezer would be the only other one I'd be interested in, but I've kind of wanted a Jaco figure for a while. Ah, I'm going to need a uh, knife. BRB. Hey, much better than we are. It is opened up. So, yeah, World Collection figures. Uh, I've probably. Oh, actually. Uh, I've probably shown you guys on the channel before. I think I've bought quite a few World Collection figures now, and I'm sure um, at least a few of them have made it into the videos. I mainly kind of collect Freezer and stuff, but um, I, I just like the aliens from Dragon Ball, really. And there we have Jackal and his base, and I believe that's the... Yeah, that's the kind of rod you put him in. So I'm going to crack him open, we'll take a quick look at him, and then I'll go assemble him. It's very easy, you just chuck it on the stand, which is quite nice. But uh, they are pretty darn detailed. Yeah, that's a quick look at Jacko, very nice. Uh, right, cool, so I'm just going to go um, assemble the base and stuff, and I'll be right back. Alright, I've dropped the camera down a little bit, and that is indeed the finished thing. So we'll take a quick look at Jacko. Um, so this is made by Ban Presto as well, who make uh, larger statues and stuff. But this, hang on. There we are. But yeah, this, um, it, it's a smaller scale, but honestly the details are still kind of there. Cause, like you can see his gun stuff there. And the boots, there's even detailing on the base of the boot, which is pretty cool. So the um, the stand goes into his side there. Yeah, he's got like the ruffles in his gloves and stuff, that's pretty cool. Yeah, overall he's a very cool looking figure. Now I don't have anything that looks like this, as in like the flying style. I've always kind of wanted one, so that's going to be a really interesting uh, addition to my World Collection figures. So I'm going to go move him to the side, and then we'll get on to the next one. Alright, we're on to the next one. It's a Gundam Converge. So these are like mini figures. Uh, obviously, all of these are mini figures. And this is like a Gundam range, and this is specifically number 118. And it's Gundam TR1 Advanced Hazel. Now, I level with everyone here. The under the other converge um, things, which I've opened on previous videos, are all kind of mobile suits I recognise. The advanced hazel I do not, but after looking up, because if we look on the side here, it does kind of say Gundam Zeta, and because this is from a uh, manga called Advance of Zeta: Flag of Titans, I'm not totally sure. It's apparently a picture book as well. Um, I'm not fully sure what that is, maybe it takes place after Zeta, maybe before, but it looked like a really cool suit, basically. I saw the Zeta thing, so I was like, I've probably seen this, it'll jog my memory, but when I looked it up, I realised it's from a manga I've never read. So if we look on the back, actually, from previous videos, uh, I did open the Bear Guy and the Zaku too, so uh, this will go quite well. This is my third Converge now, so... Quite excited, to be honest, uh, and it's very close to the other two in terms of series. My god, this was... I was uh, taped down quite well, and of course we got the advert for... You can get like a bigger Converge, which I think costs more, um, but obviously it's a bigger steel. Hey, there we are. So we've got our Hazel Lee boy himself, with his arms up, ready for a rave or something. Um, yeah. Cool, right, so he comes in lots of various parts. It's not very tricky to put together, it's just kind of like a little bit fiddly. So I'm going to go do that off camera, uh, and I'll be back in like a minute or two with the final result. Alright, I'm glad I uh, took a break to do that, because that did actually take me a little bit of time to figure out exactly what was going on. As you can see here, the box isn't the most helpful, but I'm pretty sure... I've got it looking correct now. Uh, maybe his arm goes back a little bit. But yeah, 
So, um, we'll take a look at him. So, as I mentioned, I'm not familiar with this mobile suit, so forgive me if I'm getting things wrong. But it looks like it's kind of based around the, um, the Zeta Gundam, and kind of modified, obviously, because its head has a massive kind of weird thing at the front. And really cool, like, yellow ears and stuff. So, on his right, uh, on his left arm, sorry, he's got, like, a shield and stuff that you can detach, of course. And in his right hand, he has a pretty cool blaster rifle. Um, his legs are super interesting, because the, you see, you can't move them. So, they're constantly in this backwards kind of thing. And you have to kind of separate the legs a little bit to get them into the stand. But I think that's intentional, because the stand is now holding it really firmly, which is pretty cool. And yeah, man, the detailing on Gundam Converge is, like, part of the reason I buy them. For, like, £5, which is, what, like, $8 or something, you get really, really intricately made um, figures. They're kind of chibi, but they're not equally, sort of... Uh, oh, OK, well, it's come off. I'll show you the backpack, then I'll put it back on. So this took me the longest to work out. Um, so this part clips onto his back there, despite the fact there's, like... A hole there for something um, and then each of these shields can be taken off and there's a hole there and obviously this is taking up that hole. Now I think these holes are all universal which means that if you buy a different Gundam Converge kit I think you can like you know slot things in. So if you want like RX-78 uh, arm shield you could probably give the you know this Gundam that and stuff and mix and match which is really cool but it's very confusing because this bit kind of clips on the top there. That one there, as opposed to the hole there, which is a bit weird. However, once you get it on, you've got like a double shield backpack. Now, the black one's meant to be on this side. I don't know why it's not um, particularly symmetrical because, like, you've got a slightly darker thing here and like a lighter thing here. But that is obviously the theme of it or something. I may um, I may give the manga a read, actually. I didn't realise there was any, like, follow-on. But presumably that's what this manga is. So, yeah, that's, um, that's a damn good-looking... Uh, it reminds me a little bit of Barbatos from um, Iron-Blooded Orphans, which I haven't actually seen yet. But I do love the design. So uh, I'm going to slide this little boy over with uh, Jake over there and we'll get on to the next blind box. Alright, so th next up is a uh, Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omni Trading Arts. Um, now this really grabbed my attention. Unfortunately, I think this is actually the most expensive thing out of all of them. Uh, being £11, which is coming up to like $15, I think. Um, However, I had to buy it because I was really, really curious. So this is themed after Opera Omni, which is the mobile game based on Final Fantasy Dissidia, or Dissidia Final Fantasy. And um, I, I played it a little bit. It was quite a fun mobile game, to be honest, but there's only so many mobile games I can juggle. Um, so yeah, if we take a look, there are ten varieties to get. And we'll see on the side what you can get in... in what's 15, then? No, uh, maybe that's age, I don't know. So, from left to right, we have, uh, let's see if we can get in focus, we have Cloud Strife, Squall Leonhart, uh, Zidane Tribal, Tidus, and Lightning. So, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 13. Um, yeah, cool. And also below, there are the crystal forms of the above ones. Now, I prefer a painted one, and obviously Cloud... A cloud would be my favourite. I think that's true of everyone. But I'd really like uh, Tidus or Tidus as well. Lightning. To be fair, I'd like all of them. That's why I bought this box. Because I thought, well, regardless of who I get, uh, it's kind of, you know, it, it's kind of cool. I'm up for getting any of them. I prefer the painted ones over the crystal ones. But I will also take the crystal ones. Um, so, without further ado... I don't know how much assembly is required with these, because uh, this is my first blind box. But, this turns out really good. I may buy a different one. Ooh, we've got the paper that covers everything up. This will show us who, how to build it. And we got... Oh, we got a crystal person. Okay. Well, hey, there's still hopes that it's someone I want. Uh, because I want everyone. So... It is guaranteed to... Let's see, we have... <gasps> Yo! Do we have Cloud? I think we have Cloud. Okay. 
Sorry about that, but yeah, damn. Okay then, let's take a quick look. Let's see if we can see it. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, we got Zidane, I think, from Final Fantasy IX. She's got the two um, bleed things. So actually, these are quite easy to put together. You got the base, you got the body, and you got the head. So I'm going to go ahead and put that together. All right, I'm back and I've assembled the Zidane. So um, yeah, it comes in three pieces. So the head is actually on a kind of joint thing. Um, so you can kind of that looks a bit better, doesn't it? Hang on. There we go. Um, yeah, so it's kind of, it's on a small ball joint. The only downside is it's really hard to see because, especially with the clear ones, everything is blue. Um, so you can't really see where it's meant to go, what it looks like or whatever. Uh, the other slight downside, there is no articulation apart from that. Um, not even the tail or anything. I will say, it's a pretty good looking model. If I bring it slightly closer to the camera there, you can see that you do actually get quite a bit of uh, details and stuff around and it does it kind of like fits the crystalline kind of um, theme very well and as you can see there's like a bit of transparency with the sword and stuff honestly the details are there but I will say I don't know if this is worth the money to be honest um, it's very small and it feels a little bit flimsy I'm not gonna lie um, it feels well it feels a bit cheap if, I don't know, if it was about £6 or something, maybe, but 11 I don't know, it's a little bit too high, personally speaking, for the quality of this figure. It's alright, but I can't see myself buying one again, really. Even though, like, they're pretty cool and I'd love a cloud one of these, I they're smaller than I kind of anticipated. And I don't know, man, like, I, I know it's a, quite a jump here, but, like, for 70, you can get, like, um, a 7-inch kind of, like, figure with incredible amounts of detail and interchangeable stuff. So, for, like, a seventh of the price, I suppose, you get this, but honestly, it, I don't know, it doesn't really feel like so. To compare it with Gundam Converge, which is £5, by the way, more, more than half, less than half price, sorry, of that. I don't know, man. It's it, it feels kind of cheap. Um, I I you know I mean I I don't regret buying it because it was an experience and I got to you know see what they were doing with the whole like mobile game thing. But yeah, I don't know. Um, don't recommend getting one of those, to be honest. Uh, and to end on hopefully a better note, we have a very weird blind box. Um, I'm not even sure what. What's significant about the timing? Because I think this is quite new as well. Um, this is ten pounds, so a pound cheaper than the Final Fantasy thing, and I can already tell you it's probably going to be better. Is an Akira-themed blind box by Kaiodo, and um, as we can see from the front here, this, here's the selection. Or well, I'll show you guys in a second. So this is the miniature cube. Very interesting. Uh, so we have four different things. Now I don't, I don't like remember off the top of my head all of these parts but we'll see anyway so we've got um, Tetsuo I think that's Tetsuo um, sort of hiding we've got Canada kind of um, mutated oh if I got them the wrong way around Tetsuo and Canada I think Canada was the one that was corrupted I can't remember um, so we ran that's a really cool one I'd love that we've got both of them fighting and then we have Tetsuo um, on a bike, I think. He looks a little bit as well like um, Zabuza from Naruto. I don't know why, just, uh, you know, all that pausing there. But really, out of all of them, I'd like these two the most, to be fair. But, like, all of them are interesting. And I, I bought this just because it was weird. Really. And this is um, part two, so there's apparently a part one, probably with more famous scenes. <gasps> Yo, I bet you one of them had the bike. You know, like, the really cool bike. That would be cool. Anyway, they've got a really cool tear strip here, which is like the caution thing. So let's go ahead and tear it down the appropriate thing and see which one we get. I don't know what the size is going to be like on this, but just really curious. And I saw this on the shelves, really. And, ooh, okay, we have... Uh, oh, okay, so I think it's just a singular diorama piece. Okay, cool. Let me get rid of the plastic then and we'll take a look. All right, so man, it's been a while since I watched Akira. Um, so I'm taking a look at this, and honestly, it's not ringing a bell. Um, I think that's Canada, but I could be wrong, or Tetsuo. 
Um, but yeah, basically, so we've got a um, destroyed bit of wall here with some like rebar coming out and some pipes, which is really cool. Uh, below him there is like a bag of some sort, I think, and the floor is clearly from like a lamp or something. The clothes as well are fantastic. I mean, look at that face. I know it's very small, but like the, the hands, the gun, there's the sign A1. 81, sorry, this is the, um, oh wait, is, I think this might be a scientist, possibly, I can't remember. It's um, when he escapes from the lab, isn't it, when they're like experimenting on him and the other kids. But yeah, damn, and if you turn it around as well, I wasn't expecting this, but like, there's loads of details on the back as well, which is, so like, that's an electricity box or whatever. There's clearly be some like, graffiti and stuff, and it's all like, I don't know, it, it's all put on in a kind of way that makes it look like it's been written on. It's not just painted on in the same style. Yo, th this is an incredible little, like, diorama piece, because, like, from all the sides, it's really detailed and stuff. It's, I'm genuinely quite impressed with this, especially considering it was one pound less than the really cheapy Final Fantasy thing. The, honestly, genuinely, I might buy another one or two of these. I know, I so I know, ten pounds is a little bit steep, but for the detail you find on such a small scale, I I'm struggling to think of anything I've seen that like has this level of care and stuff. I know Kyodo is quite known for like their detailing, but honestly, I I wasn't fully prepared for this. That's um, I'm glad I kept this till the end though, actually, because I like ending videos on like a high note and. This is more certainly a high note, this put like everything else to shame. Well, the, mainly the Final Fantasy thing. But yeah, that is... God damn, that is so cool. You could display it from like so many different angles. Maybe not that, to be fair, but like the fact it's there is just so cool. Uh, right, I'm going to put everything together then, all four of them, line them up, and I'll give a quick review of each of them, and then we'll end the video. Alright then, and that about wraps up my video. So a quick uh, rundown, the Jiko figure on the right there is very nice. Honestly, I thought the plastic thing making him like stand up would be a bit too obvious and it wouldn't look good, but from a distance, he genuinely just, just looked like he's uh, floating and stuff, so that's going to go nicely in my World Collection figures. Uh, the Hazel Gundam is fantastic. It's probably my favourite Gundam Converge, or in line with the Zaku 2 I opened uh, in the past video. But like, ah, oh, he's just got so many accessories and details and stuff, very nice. The Final Fantasy one, honestly, I think I'm regretting more of it now, after sort of having a look at it again in comparison to all these things. It's, I, I highly recommend, even if you're a big Final Fantasy fan, just hold off, man, like, save up, get something nicer. This is just not good enough, and I'm presuming as well that the crystal versions are probably like the commons or something, and the painted are like the rarer ones. I wouldn't be surprised, because then, uh, uh, either way, uh, otherwise, because, like, who really wants a crystal Final Fantasy character? To be honest, if you offered me either, I'd have preferred painted, and I'd have preferred something a bit bigger than this as well. It's it's very, like, cheap feeling. It doesn't move. The head moves for some reason, but not very much. I don't know. Overall, it's just very cheap. And my boy, this, this Akira figure is... Incredible. Um, as I said, I may I may buy one or two more as well because like I'd love to have a little diorama set of like different parts, and I'm I'm presuming as well you can all kind of put them together because like there's the um, you know uh, Tetsuo like escaping from the lab, so you could have this and then the lab guy there and stuff, and yeah, it's just oh, it's so good. Like the quality and stuff, the detailing. Honestly, it's like statue level. It's very impressive. So there we are, that's my uh, roundup of four random blind boxes and stuff. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I've got more videos planned in the future, so keep an eye out for those. Um, I'll leave a playlist as well for a few other things, just in case they're kind of things that interest you guys. Um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching, and until next time, goodbye!